Hi, I'm Min here with a very special demo. I was able to go to the Martin Custom Shop and design some ukuleles to offer at my shop. So I kind of went way back into the Martin archives when it came to design and I tried to really reach for a modern vintage ukulele. So it's got all the vintage appointments, but with the brand new make that can be available at the Martin factory in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. And I put all the best appointments on it and me and my friend who helped me uh, design it went back and forth on a lot of these. Hi, Dan. Um, and it was funny because he's usually a guitar guy and then suddenly he's having to deal with the ukulele lady and that's me. But I really like what we came up with. Um, and these, I still have two of these available in my shop now. There's only two sopranos, two concerts, and two tenors available in the whole world. One of the tenors is sold. Um, and so right now in my shop, I have two sopranos and two concerts available. And this would be the concert. There will never be another one made like it. So I'm not going to go back to Martin and go, okay, that's sold. So make me a few more. I'll just do different tone woods next time. So you are truly getting a unique ukulele and there will only be two like this make. All right. So to explain a little bit of what is this ukulele is made up of, it's all solid sinker mahogany. So this mahogany, and Dan said it best, fell off a boat, has been laying under the water because it did not want to be made into a piece of furniture in the 1920s. It was waiting to be made into a ukulele. So it's sustainably sourced wood because it's a sinker wood that had been harvested years and years and years ago. So it's a recycled wood, but it's a very old wood um, to give you that like nice woody, deep, like rich tone. And then we went with the style three design. So again, we're going back to the 1920s with this. The wood was harvested in the 20s. The design is from the 20s. And then I also modernized the classic bow tie inlay from that time. So there was the bow. So we put a bow tie on this handsome fella. Um, so back in the 20s, there would be the bow tie inlay, but it was done on, I believe, the 5th, 8th, and 10th fret because back then that's where your fret markers were. But these days we want to go with like what we use now. So it's a modernized bow tie. So a little handsome fella has a nice little bow tie there. We went with the planetary tuners. We went with the kite inlay. Um, normally all these bindings would be ivoroid. Um, and again, this was something else uh, that we had to discuss. Is I'm like, I would like it to be all wood. Um, so this isn't ivoroid. This is actually a flame maple. So it's very slight. But there's a beautiful little slight flame into the maple. That's flame maple. That's flame maple. That's flame maple. And all your inlays here are flame maple. And even your purfling and your rosette and your lines on the fretboard, normally they'd be black ivoroid, black ivoroid. Black ivory. This one is actually black maple, black maple, black maple, black. And I've got the spec sheets. If you purchase this ukulele, I can send them um, to you. But basically, we went over every single detail, including the planetary tuners, which I insisted needed to be nickel. And sourcing those was even a whole thing. So it's because I care. It's because I care and I love the vintage look. So that's kind of the story behind these. There's only two of each made. So they are a collector's item. Um, only available in the shop. And I'll play them through for you. So I'll, I only have the soprano in concert here right now. So I'll play the concert. And then, so we put it all in one video. I'll go ahead and play the soprano for you. And here's a pretty little soprano baby. It has a lovely cut of wood on there. We even took the templates and lined it up with the wood just for maximum beauty. So I'll play this one for you. Still 
ganhei. So yeah, these are some very unique ukuleles, only available at Mims Ukes. The action is really nice on all of them too, because again, that's something I've been um, working with Martin on, and I feel like they, they play wonderfully, sound great, have that nice, punchy, woody, warm, rich tone. Um, and then the more you play it, the more it's going to open it uh, open up because it is that like aged like mahogany, so it's great. Um, so yeah, a really unique little work of art with a handsome little bow tie for you. Uh, so if you're looking for one, check out memsukes.com. Thanks so much for watching.